Hey everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. So the judge overseeing the case against former Republican lawmaker Frank Artiles has granted the prosecution a 60-day pause. And if you've been watching Plants and Politics for a while, you know that Artiles was arrested back in March of this year. Prosecutors discovered that he had paid a man named Alex Rodriguez no, not that Alex Rodriguez, um, to run in the 2020 election, specifically to siphon votes away from the Democrat in the race. This is something that is not contested by Alex Rodriguez. He's actually working with the prosecution. He's agreed to cooperate. And as I've mentioned, Rodriguez was one of just several seemingly fake candidates who did no campaigning. They refused media interviews. They raised almost no money, yet they were the recipients of more than a half a million dollars in mail advertisements, which tried to portray them as progressives, even though all of these people have been registered Republicans prior to filing their campaign documents. Um, the money for those mailers has been traced back to dark money groups, which, of course, conceal the source of those funds. So prosecutors are trying to figure out who, in fact, funded this whole fake election scheme. So this case has spawned tentacles and it, they appear to reach very far and deep um, and they all lead back to the seedy world of Republican politics. And the names of many GOP operatives have surfaced as this investigation has dragged on. And that leads us to this new 60 day hold because prosecutors informed circuit judge Ariana Fajardo or Sean, I believe is how you pronounce it, that there's a quote, parallel investigation into some other matters. So prosecutor Tim Vandergeisen told the judge that his office is planning to provide ongoing reports, but he noted, quote, it just was a little more complicated because the investigation did not end with the arrest and it's still ongoing today. Hmm, tell me more. So Vandergeisen didn't offer specifics in court. And it, again, if you've been following the show, you know that there are many companies, many people to which he could be referring. It, this, this literally, this parallel investigation could encompass just about anyone or just about any company um, that's anywhere near the Republican Party and especially in Florida. And if you'd like to hear more about some of these stories and catch up on the details of this fake candidate case that you may have missed if you're new to the channel, you can check out my newly created playlist. Uh, there's one that I titled fake candidate case that goes all the way back to the beginning of this year and we'll catch you up on all the different players, all the different twists and turns in the story. It is convoluted to say the least. Uh, but as always, I'll keep you guys posted on new details as they emerge. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Take care and I will talk with you soon.